Hi everyone! I've got like wings. What is happening with my hair? Hello everyone! How are we all doing? Hello, hello, hello! Whew, yeah! Wow! Hi! Bethany here from Count Your Stitches! Not liking how my hair finished out the day today. My goodness gracious! But hello! Happy Monday! How is everyone doing? We are here with another live craft, although we're going to be doing less crafting, more painting tonight. Um, so let me just get this out there for the world to see. How's everybody doing on this Monday night? Say hey when you're hopping on. Um, again, like I said, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're going to be painting a snowman tonight. Um, I wish I could say I came up with this on my own, but I did not. I saw it um, from crafts for ub um, She painted this back in October. Um, and so I'm going to do like a little mini version of it, if I can. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about it. I'm not a painter. So I'm definitely, definitely nervous about this one. Um, but we shall see what happens. So what's up, everybody? How we doing? How we doing? All right, let's get going. Oh, give me a, a second. I forgot to text my mom to tell her that we were doing, I was doing this. So let me do this really fast. All right. Went on live early, exclamation point. All right. Hi, Auntie Kim. Oh, oops. <laughs> Hold on. Struggle bus. Went on live early, exclamation point. Okay. Boom. Done. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. So we're doing our thing. We're going to paint a snowman tonight. Okay. Let's give this a whirl. Hi, Peg. How are you? My internet's not great, but we've got the 5G going, so we're okay. So um, this was inspired by, um, I have these little snowman cutouts from the Dollar Tree. And I haven't used them yet. And I was like, I want to do something. But then I'm not even going to use them. But they're just adorable. So I'll find a project eventually for them. Um, and then I have these other little ones that say, let it snow. And I thought these were, were just so stinking cute. Um, and I was like, okay, I want to do something with the let it snow. And then I have this tiny piece of wood, um, which I've already taped off the um, edges. Because I want it to be just the front and clean edges. And what we're going to do is put the let it snow at the top this way on an angle and then the rest of this we're going to paint a snowman on it not like a snowman right in the center but more like kind of coming off so that there's like a little snowiness happening here okay that's the thought we'll see what happens okay like I said I'm not really a painter this will be the last step but I kind of keep it out to gauge like where I'm going to put the snowman um but hey we're going to give this a whirl I'm going to grab a paintbrush and we're gonna start with, I've got some Admiral Blue, and um, we're gonna start, I'm just gonna, I have a big paper plate here, and we're gonna just, we're just gonna start painting, and we're gonna try to do some blending and all these things that I'm gonna pretend that I know how to do, but I don't, but we're gonna try, right? How many of you out there paint? Um, like I said, I'm not really a painter. Last year, no, two years ago, almost, well, it'll be two years this fall, we did that whole, like, uh, pumpkin thing we painted, um, so I figure if I could do that, I can try this, right? So I'm going to take some of the Admiral Blue because the background is going to be mostly blue. Um, and so I'm just going to paint the blue on. All right. And I'm going to be just kind of like eh, with it. You know, we're not trying to be perfect here. And I also don't need to technically paint the whole thing because the snowman's going to be on it too. All right. And I taped off the edges again so that I don't, A, I don't have to worry about it. Um, so there's that. And then I'm going to grab just the slightest hint of blue and just kind of blend that in with it, okay? Can you see what I'm doing? Look at me, I'm pretending I can paint. So I just wanted some some white tints in it as well. So I'm just dipping my paint, uh, wet paintbrush in the white just so that we have a little bit of depth to the blue. And I'm gonna go back to the blue and just put a couple of those dark hints back in, okay? So that's gonna be our background. And the snowman's gonna go here so we don't need to paint that blue. Hi, mom! Um, okay, so that's where we're at so far. So far, so good, everybody. That's the easy part. Okay, so now, I don't think I want this wet anymore. No, 
well, I mean, no, I don't want this wet anymore. So I'm going to rinse off my brush. And I wonder if I could just wipe it clean. Do I have enough paper towels to do that? So what's everybody up to tonight? It's Monday night. I also just got an alert on my phone that it's supposed to snow. So how appropriate that we're painting a snowman. All right, I know it doesn't look like a snowman yet, everybody, okay? I promise it will. It will eventually, hopefully. I don't know. I shouldn't promise these things. Hi, Lauren, how you doing? How you doing? Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna dry, whoops, we're not on. Hold on. Be nice if I turn the strip plug on so that we had power. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this up. Everybody, we're painting a snowman, okay? We're taking a break from Valentine's, although I think we only made one Valentine's craft. I don't even remember. I think I've only made one Valentine's craft. Isn't that bad? I don't even remember. I'm just drying up our sky. This is going to go behind the snowman. The snowman's going on the side here. Um, so we're drying up the sky. I just did a combo of some dark blue and some white. And I've got this adorable little let it snow we're going to put at the top. Is that not cute, Cs? I can't even. I can't even. This is going to be a winter craft, right? This is not Christmas. This is not, this is just, you know, whenever you want to put this up. Okay, so I'm going to put the Let It Snow on here so I can kind of gauge, like, where we want the hat. So the hat's going to go kind of up here so we can start him there. Okay, so I'm literally just going to, like, go for it. Here's his head. And we'll fill this in in a second. Here's the second part of his body. And then the bottom of him is just going to go right off the board. Okay, and now we're gonna fill them in. Okay, so just, did, oh boy. We didn't paint enough blue. Hold on. Problem solved, we just made him bigger. And he's gonna have a scarf on and stuff too, so it'll be fine. All right, so we're just painting our snowman. There we go, now he's nice and big. All right, so it's painting down the white. I didn't paint enough blue, <laughs> but we're good now. We fixed it, okay? We fixed it. So there's that, there's second bump, third bump. Okay, so there's our snowman. You see him? See our snow, see our snow dude? All right, and we'll define him in a few. It's gonna dry the first coat here. His The let it snow is gonna kind of go on top of his hat. I gotta be honest, I'm loving the way that this natural let it snow. Hi, Debbie, how are you? Good to see you again. I'm loving the way this natural let it snow looks. We might just keep it like that. All right, so I'm just drying up first coat of my snowman here. And we're going to throw a hat on him and a scarf and a nose and some eyes and all that fun stuff. All right, so I'm just grabbing some more white and I'm just going to go over for a second coat. Now, if you're coming in late, I taped off, whoops, I taped off the edges of this little piece of wood we're using because I wanted the picture to just be on the front of the board. Um, I mean, it might bleed through a little, but I just, I didn't want, um, I didn't want to have to worry about painting the sides of the board. So I taped it all off with some painter's tape ahead of time. So that's all set to go. Okay, our snowman is all set to go. We're gonna take some black next and get his hat going. So I am drying in between. So I will say, when you're doing stuff like this, you, you it's really important to have either a heat gun or, you know, just a blow dryer to dry your paint in between coats or in between, like, whatever you're doing. Um, unless you want more of a blended look like we did on the blue blue. So I guess it can be personal preference, but I just suggest drying a lot of things as you go. Whew, okay, so what's everybody up to tonight? Um... Did y'all watch football this weekend? That's all I have to say. You guys know how much I love football. I know how much we love football in this house. Did y'all watch football this weekend is all I have to say. Because this weekend was so much fun for football. Did any, I mean, are we anybody else just spend the weekend watching football like we did? That was just our MO this weekend. Um, incredible, incredible games and playing and just, oh my gosh, we had so much stinking fun. What, are, what were people's thoughts about football this weekend? Grabbing some black. Going to make his hat. We're also going to need a little bit of black later for some accent. We're going to need a little white later for some accent. Um, but so what did y'all think about football this weekend? I just, I was like, I, it was so much fun. 
Um, we wanted Rams. That was, oh my gosh. I was literally like standing up, crouching over, like, <sighs> I was telling Bob, I'm like, I'm going to have a heart attack from football. I'm just going to have a heart attack from football. You know, prior to Bob, I didn't care about football this much. And like, whoo, boy. Okay, so now I'm just going to throw a hat on him, okay? So remember, it's only like half-ish the hat, right? So I'm going to boom this, and then I'm just going to kind of like come out with it. And then just kind of bring it over his head. I'm making this up as I go, guys. I've never done this before. I am not a painter. I'm already like not totally in love with how this looks, but we're going to go with it. Okay. All right. I also don't have like the best paintbrushes in the world. I have, you know, the Walmart paintbrushes and all that kind of fun stuff. But there's his hat. It works, right? I mean, let's not be fancy here, right, guys? This is like a homemade. This is homemade. So let's not be too picky. You know what I'm saying? Dry that bad boy up. Then we'll put a scarf on him. But yeah, I mean, and you know, if you're watching this on the replay, slow me down, right? Go step by step. Grab yourself. I mean, goodness gracious, you do not need a piece of wood for this. First of all, you can get wood at the Dollar Tree now, but you don't need wood for this. You can get a canvas at the Dollar Tree, right, for a buck. Get some acrylic paints. You need, I mean, blue, white, black, red, and orange. So, I mean, it's five colors. I mean, it's nothing huge. You could even, like, make a pink nose if you want to just combine white and red if you didn't have orange. Um, or, like, put some blue in with it. You know what I mean? Like... You don't need much here, guys. Um, so definitely a different kind of live than I normally do. More, oh, geez, I almost just got paint all over me, but we're okay. All right, so we're going to make a red scarf, and I'm choosing this kind of deeper red. Um, I don't even know what it's called. I don't even know what it's called. But it's a deeper red as opposed to a super bright red because I don't want to give Christmas vibes with this, okay? this is tr This is definitely... Um, not a Christmas piece. So I'm just going to take this red and go right across here and just give him a little brim on his hat. All right, I'm just being a little bit more careful with this just so I can kind of meet the angle. Okay, so we just gave him a little brim on his hat, nothing fancy. All right, and then we're going to give him a little scarf right here. So we're just going to give him a little scarf. Okay, little scarf there. And then we'll bring the scarf down. So we're just going to do a little wiggle. Okay. Just a little scarf there. Boom, boom. All right. Cute little wiggle we got going on. A little longer. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to dry that up and give it a second coat. Second coat on the scarf. Um, also, I know I'm wearing the same the same vest I wore last Monday. Sun, what is it? Monday? Monday. I wear... You ever have something that you just want to wear it all the time and it just works? When it works, it works, okay? There was a time, it wasn't that long ago, it was probably last weekend, maybe the weekend before, I wore the same outfit three days in a row. I, You know, it's a pair of jeans, you know, whatever, you can wear jeans. But it was this, this turtleneck with a cardi over it and the cardi had a, oh, this cardi has a bow on the back? You can't really see when the cardi is hanging up, but when you put it with a light shirt underneath it, you can see the the image come out really cool. So it's like a navy blue cardigan in a like a tannish uh, turtleneck, and I wore that. Um, and I wore it. Yeah, I wore it three days in a row because I didn't wear it for like long, super long periods of time. And you know, if it works, it works. So that's how I feel about things. I don't know how y'all feel. Just putting a second coat on his on his scarf. Yeah, how y'all feel? Tell, give me give me some give me some loving on the. The repeating of the... So I'm just going to follow my my little squiggly squigs. Bring it down. Bring it down. All right, there we go. All right, now that we've got... Oh, that figures I just messed that up. That's okay. All right, now that we've got that kind of done, now we can just start filling in some accents, eyes, all that fun stuff. I mean, it looks like a snowman, right? It's not perfect, but... I don't know. It's cute. I don't like this. I think I needed some more in with it, but it is what it is. All right, so we're done with the red. So we'll get rid of him. And to be honest, we're done with this black brush. So now we're going to do some accents and the uh, the face. And we're also going to do some like little snowflakey things here. And again, I got this idea from 
Crafts for you B. Um, yeah, he doesn't have a, I didn't give my snowman a neck. See, I don't have much of a neck, so I didn't give him a snowman a neck. You know what I'm saying? But Crafts for UB painted this back in October, and so I'm using that as some inspo for this. Um, so, okay, let's keep going. Um, all right. Now I'm going to take a thin brush, and we're going to do some accent lines, okay? This is, I'm not, I'm not an expert at any of this, but I'm going to roll my brush in the paint so that it kind of makes it like a, like a thinner brush, although I think that's too still too thick. Hold on. Okay, yep. Well, nope, that one's not good either. I have the meal. Okay, we'll try not that one. Ah! Okay, we'll try this one. Okay. So, I'm going to take some black. And, hi, Casey! Casey, I'm painting a snowman. I don't know if I can actually do this. All right, so now I'm going to outline. Am I outlining him? Yes. I'm going to outline my snowman, okay? Just kind of quick. I'm not going to... I am not making it perfect, okay? This is not supposed to be perfect at all. I'm going to outline the scarf. All right, again, not supposed to be perfect. And the scarf goes like this, right? Because it's a scarf. I'm gonna go like that. Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna do a little outline on his brim. Okay, so that part is outlined. While I have a small black brush, I'm going to do his eyes, which we're going to do one. Actually, you know what? Let's do his nose first. Hold on. Let's do his nose. So I'm going to get some orange out. We're going to get his nose going. All right. And like I said, I'm using this person's picture to help me. Just using some super bright. This is jack-o'-lantern orange. Could, couldn't get any more orange, if I'm saying. Um... And we're going to paint him a nice little carrot nose. Okay. We're going classic. Going classic. I am going to... I should not have painted the outline before I did the nose. But that's okay. We're going to make it work. Just drying this up so I don't get it on my sleeve. Oh. Uh, did anybody else feel like today was the Mondayest of Mondays? You know, it's funny because I always feel like um, four-day weeks are the worst, right? Four day weeks are always the worst because you're squeezing in, you know, that six days of work into four days. Um, but I don't know. Today just felt like holy guacamole. All right. We're going to bring his nose down here. All right. Oh, that, did, that didn't happen too badly. That actually kind of worked. Okay. All right. So I'm just bringing his nose down. All right. The nose is tough because, you know, it's on the dark colors, but we're making it work. But yeah, I felt like today was the Mondayest of Mondays, and it went by so fast because I just feel like there were so many issues. Um, Oh, my God, long day. Right, Case? I mean, there's just so much right now. Nothing is normal for anybody anywhere. Does anybody feel like that? Um We are. We thought we were in, like, a whole new, a whole new world of unknown last year. Not even close. This year is just, it has, well, you know what? It has its own challenges. You know what I mean? Um, both years, yeah, my God. I don't know. I just feel like everybody thought 2021 was going to be better. And, and it, then, it, you know, and it was in some ways and not in others. And now we're into 2022 and we've still got our moments. Oh, yes. Right, Lauren? I mean, all we can do is all we can do, Right. Um, we can't, we can't ask ourselves to be more than we are. We can't get done more than we can get done. I know so many are so stressed at work, understaffed, underpaid, just overworked, I, but we, we can't do more than we can do. And you know your limits, right? My God, how, when did this become a therapy session? Um, but I don't know. I, I, and I still am this way, so don't 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 think that I'm I'm any better. But, um, you know, I'm a yes 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 person, right? I don't want to let people down. I don't want to say no. I just want to help and say yes to everything people say. But you know what? You can't do that. You just can't do that. Um, yes, Lauren. We have to lean on each other. We can't be afraid to ask for help. That's definitely not something I've ever been good at. I am a let's I'll just get it done kind of person. I'm um, spending like 10 minutes on a nose here, guys. 
Um, just learning to live this way and stop waiting for it to change. You know, Casey, I think that's what we have to do at this point. Like, we we all spent 2020 thinking, okay, 2021, it's going to be better, so don't worry. And then it didn't get better. And now here we are um, in 2022. And it's, you know, again, some things are better, but it's a different kind of challenge. And that's just the way it's going to be from now on. And I... I hate for us to live that way, but I, I think you're right, Case. We just kind of have to say, okay, this is the new normal. Um, I'm just going to stick some eyes on this guy, okay? I know, we're still painting a craft here, right? <laughs> um, I'm just going to put one here. But yeah, I just we have to just kind of accept the way things are. And ask for help. Ad admit when you need help. That doesn't mean you're failing. It doesn't mean I really I don't know when I become a therapist when I became a therapist here, but asking for help means means nothing except recognizing that we need each other to get through. And there's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna put a little mouth on him. Just gonna do some dots. Okay. And hey, you want some cheering up? Do a craft. Okay? Do a craft. That's where we're at. You want some cheering up? Do a craft. Or just find what's you, right? I mean, for a lot of people, and I totally recognize this, for a lot of people, crafting is massively stressful. I get it. That's fine. Um, but if there's one thing that we've gotten out of this is, you know, you need to find ways to cope. Whatever you're coping with, whether that's stress, whether that's family, whether, you know, things, whether that's, you know, all of the, the loss we felt, you have to find something for you um, to get through. You just, you have to, whatever that is. Ah, Casey, yes, I feel you entirely. I always, I always crocheted, but then, I don't know, I, I mean, I started, um, you yeah, know, I lost a job. Um, and was so blessed to find another, but like this kind of just made me still feel like I had some purpose while, you know, while looking, um, and I don't know. I mean, and then you guys are also supportive that we're just kind of continuing on and, you know, it's just, yeah, just, we just have to, we just have to all be there for each other. That's all. That is all. That is, that is my therapy session this evening, everyone. That is my therapy session. Thanks, mom. All right, I'm going to put just a few little like a carrot would have, you know. All right, so here's he, so here's him so far. And now we've added our black accents. Now we're going to add um, the white accents, okay? Gosh, I pulled out way too much paint here, and I don't like to waste. So we got the black. Actually, I'm going to put a few more black accents, right? Just going to put some, some bigger dashes. I don't know. This makes things look cool. I don't really know what it does, but it just makes things look cool. All right, amen, right, Mama? Oh, yeah, I want to make him, like, more, more snowman-y. There we go. Okay, there we go. I feel better about this right now. I just kind of, like, made him a little bit rounder. There we go. Okay, so there we put, we put a little bit more black accent in there, okay? And now, thanks, Mom, and now we're going to add some white. Okay, so I'm going to rinse this brush off because I like this one for the accents that we're doing. I'm going to wipe this off and then we're going to put some white accent. I don't know. The accent just kind of brings things to life. Wow, that was a really intense movement. The accent brings things to life. Okay. So we're going to take some white and I'm going to put some on his scarf. All right. And I'm going to put some down this way. All right. Grab some on his hat. I'm going to kind of outline the hat. All right. Put, you know, keep outlining the hat. And guys, I'm I'm honestly, I'm totally making up this um, outlining, okay? Completely making it up. Oh, and we're going to put a little dot in his eyes. Give him a little sparkle. We're going to call him Frosty, okay? We'll call him Frosty. We could call him Olaf. Oh my gosh, have I ever told you guys? It's so funny. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to talk about on this, and I don't know why I'm surprised that I always find something. Uh, <laughs> Bob's like, yeah, right? Um... 
But so Olaf, we're going we're gonna to call him Olaf. We'll call him Olaf. No, you know what we're going to call him? So inside joke um, in our household. So I'm going to put a little dot right at the top. Steady hand. Try to make it as round as possible. So little inside joke. Uh, Bob originally thought that Olaf's name in Frozen was um, Fievel. Has nothing to do, I don't even know what Fievel is, but he thought his name was Fievel. So we call Olaf Fievel. So one year for Christmas, Bob got me a Fievel ornament, right? It's no, it's Olaf, but he's Fievel in our household. Okay, guys, I think we did it. I think we painted a snowman. Look at, look at that. We did it. We painted a snowman. I am so excited. All right, let's dry him up. Now, here's the cool part about this. This was not hard, right? Not a lot of colors. Very simple. And, um, gosh, I can't believe I just painted a snowman. Um, I'm so excited. And, so it didn't take long. It took long because I talk. And not a lot of colors. Very easy. You can do whatever color background you want. Oh, let's do some white background. Um, and... You can do it whatever size you want. So, like, I have a big, I don't know, I have, like, a big, you know, kind of semi front porch kind of door. You could do a big door, welcome one of these. You could do it on it. Like I said, you can do it on a canvas, make it a little wider. I mean, it's, like, so many, so many things. Um, it does not have to be, you know, it can be whatever you want. All right? All right, so I'm just going to take this brush, and I'm not going to be as delicate. I'm just going to, we're just going to stick some so that it's snowing. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, and then I'm going to dry this up, and then we're just going to, I'm going to see if I even want to let it snow, because I love this so much. I, w I wish I could put like a back on this, you know, like a picture frame kind of back. Oh, okay. Thank you. I love it too. I'm so excited. I can't believe I did this. And like I said, if you're just watching this now, or if you want to try it yourself, just go slow me down and, you know, stop my replay and paint it with me, you know? Um, it was really simple. All right, do we want to stick the Let It Snow on? All right, I'm going to need your opinion on this, guys. So, with the Let It Snow, all right, it does kind of block his hat a little bit. I'm going to hold it up nice and close. With the Let It Snow, and that says Let It Snow. I know it looks weird. Or without the let it snow. I'm going to need you to vote for me. So we've got the with let it snow. I kind of think it like adds a little something else, but, or without the let it snow. What do you think? I'm having a hard time deciding. I mean, I think it's cool. I think it kind of gives it a finishing touch, but does it need it? I don't know. All right, I'm going to take off my painter's tape while y'all are voting on with or without the Let It Snow. I need you to vote, guys, because without you, I don't know what to do. Leave it without. Okay, that seems to be the winner right now is without. Oh, the painter's tape worked, guys. I love when painter's tape works. It's like it's supposed to work or something in real life. <laughs> All right, and now we've got, look at that. And now we've got these gorgeous, clean edges. Oh, look at that. And the painting is literally just on the front. And someone's going to look at this and be like, how do you know? How did you do that? Painter's tape. Debbie, are you painting the lettuce? No, I was going to keep it the natural wood to kind of play off the natural wood um, of the rest of it. And so that it doesn't blend in with anything. That was my thought, was to just keep it natural like that. Those of you who are just hopping on, because I see some new peeps, let me know. We just finished painting this snowman, okay? And I have this Let It Snow cut out. You can see it better that way. And I want to know, should we keep it without the Let It Snow, or should we put the Let It Snow on? It's a tough decision, I know. I know, but so far we've got the, the no, the keep it off, keep it plain. What do y'all think? Send a comment my way. I think if I had made him a little smaller, we could have kept it, but I, I kind of went overboard with him. Well, it's kind of a small piece of wood, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to clean up while you guys are while you guys are deciding whether we should put Let It Snow on or not. So far, 
Let it without let it snow is winning, but you need to let me know. But so this is our fievel, our <laughs> aka known as, no, uh, also known as uh, Olaf, but in our house we call him Fievel because Bob didn't know the name of Olaf and he thought it was Fievel. I mean, what is Fievel? I don't even know. I don't even know how to spell Fievel. Um, all right, I've got the hot glue gun on just in case we want it. What about putting it on the top? It, um, right, that is, it, it, oh, you mean like up here? You mean like extending it? I don't know. I'm just, maybe I'm just gonna, maybe we'll just go without it. I mean, I kind of wanted it. I don't know. I don't know. It does make it kind of busy. He's the mouse from the... Oh, you're kidding. Fievel's a thing? I wonder if Bob knows that. I'm going to have to ask him. He's the mouse. I had no clue. I don't I don't think I've ever really seen the um an American move the I mean American tale. I'm going to have to ask Bob. That's wicked funny. Okay, yeah, I think this makes it a little busy. So, there we are, my friends. We painted a snowman this evening. Uh, if you are just catching this now or, you know, catching this later on the replay, make sure that you hashtag replay and paint this yourself. Give it a whirl. Grab a canvas from the Dollar Tree and some cheap paints. Walmart sells paints for 50 cents, right? You can't beat it. Um, thank you so much, guys. You're so sweet. Thank you, Debbie. Um, so grab a canvas from the Dollar Tree and some cheap paints. You only need a few. Go back to the replay of this, go slow, and learn how to paint a snowman. And like I said, I did not come up with this. I want to give credit to Crafts with a K, Crafts for U B, like the letter U and the letter and the letter B. She painted this back in October. And I am just, I used it as inspiration, put my own spin on it. But um, super talented person taught me how to paint. And now someone not so super talented, but still who figured it out, um, can teach you how to paint too. So go back, watch this again. Quick one tonight, guys. Just want to do a cute winter craft. Um, this weekend, we have a fair at the West Work Elks Lodge. Um, so comment down. We'll have some St. Patrick's Day stuff. I'll post that later. Some St. Patrick's Day stuff, some Valentine's stuff. We'll have some winter stuff like our, um, our you can see the sled over there and you all the Valentine stuff behind me. Um, and then we'll have our spring stuff and our, um, my gosh, our spring stuff and our, oh, like generic non-themed stuff. So come check us out if you're local, 10 to 3 West Work Elks Lodge on Sunday. Um, and thank you guys all so much Sorry, for watching. Oh, I'm talking. Sorry, I couldn't hear what no, you stop. Said. I'm not talking right now. Goodness gracious. But anywho, thank you all so much for joining. I hope you paint your own snowman. And if you do paint your own snowman, post it down in the comments. I would love to see them, okay? Thank you so much again. I hope you will have a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, enjoy, stay warm, and always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.